What is going on, guys? I'm Gamer Mike, and we are back on Agrarian Skies, episode number four. Last time I left you off, we got our nice cobblestone generator set up, all spiffy and whatnot over here. We are able to get pretty much unlimited, uh, like iron, and pretty much anything as long as we just keep grinding it out. But for now, we are going to go ahead and continue on with our quest book. Uh, we have a few other quests we can complete before really going. One sec, I think my music or no actually that's right i think right yeah okay um i was just making sure i didn't lower my sound or anything so you guys could hear the the audio okay cool yeah it's good um so we have a few other quests this is the next one that's really going to um push us farther into the series because it will unlock quests while these other ones will not but we can go ahead and kind of complete some of these this one will require us creating a mob spawner platform uh kill a total of three zombies it will reward us with a half heart and four apples, and that is a repeatable quest, so we might want to do that. We had a butcher shop. We got to turn in ten bones, ten zombie brains, four safari net, quarter heart, and a reward bag. We got survival's not tasty. Uh, what we do, uh, we just got to create a sifter. It'll give us 16 megabait, quarter heart, and a reward bag. So let's start with that one. Uh, I probably won't be using the sifter all that much beyond the quest, but why not? Okay, first of all, let's see. How do we create a sifter? Sifter requires fishing net, so five string. Okay, that is simple enough. We should have some string. Oh no! I think I put all my string into the what's gonna call it into um the oak barrels. So we actually will need a couple silkworms, and we have to infect these trees. It'll give us some more string. So while that is happening, we can start thinking about expanding our platform maybe a bit to uh, create a mob spawner for the next quest as well as setting up a place for our smeltery uh, I don't quite remember how to create or what we do with the smeltery so for this quest all we need is just the actual uh, blocks and then from there I can uh, I'll look up how to create a smeltery and the point of it because I have never dealt with smelts or uh, smelteries before and also, while that is getting infected, let's do another area. Okay, we can back out and go into Hill's Kitchen here. Maybe if we can open it up. Alright, so cooking channel. So we need a juicer, mixing bowl, and a bakeware. It'll give us four ironing nuts, half a heart, and a reward bag. So the juicer is pretty simple. Let's come over here. We need cobblestone for this. So let's just grab a few pieces of cobble. So a juicer is just one piece of stone and a pressure plaid. Pressure plaid. Pressure pad! And uh, what that will do is allow us to juice the apples and the carrots and whatnot for more hunger. So we get more hunger out of it, which is very effective. Alright, so let's just grab a few more. And let's open this up. Uh, bakeware and a mixing bowl. So let's look up bakeware. That might require iron. We'll find out. No, glass. Okay. Um, so let's get some glass as well. So let's see. We need eight blocks. One, two tree or and um so we have bakeware mixing bowl i have a feeling i'm at eight okay i have a feeling the mixing bowl is going to require um wood yeah okay so we we can do that one easy okay so we have our cobble let's throw some of the stuff into do we have more wood or is that all of the wood we have Okay, so let's throw, let's see here. I can throw charcoal in there as well. I want to create a few crooks real quick so we can get what we need out of this. That is not how you make a crook at all. There's one, just create one more crook. Okay, there we go. That should be able to knock out enough. Oh geez, we have plenty of trees. Okay, we can start cutting some of these down though. Especially these ones over here because we don't want to get all of these infected. Which we could. It would just give us so much string we wouldn't even need to um, worry about it anymore probably for the rest of the series. But let's just uh, get this wood. That'll allow us to cook. We're going to replant. Like so. Come over here. Chop this one as well. And our axe should be close to upgrading maybe. Let's see here. 64 to 75. So we're getting there. I also um, did a little off screen. All I did was just uh, sift all the sand. Or not the sand. The, the gravel that we collected from last episode. And I put all the drops into 
this chest here, so we can kind of see what we got. We got three pieces of broken ore, a bunch of flint, a uh, quick silver drop, not sure what that's used, some coal, and just a bunch of uh, other stuff. We actually can create an entire copper piece from that. Okay, so let's see, is that done? Three stone, that's all I needed. Let's throw that in, oop, that in there. Convert some of this wood. Throw that in there, get that cooking. Let's come over to the crafting bench, create a pressure pad, create. How, is, how does this go? Okay, uh, is it, okay, there we go. It's very, these mods are very, very, uh, I don't know. You gotta have it exactly precise in the crafting bench for it to work. Okay, so we actually want to create a separate crafting table for this. And the reason for that is we can actually just stick this in and we will be able to just uh, keep the juicer in there at all times. So where do we want to put this? Let's see, where are we going to do all of our juice in at? Let's just put it over here for now. So we can just keep that in there. So now if we put some apples in there, we get some apple juice. So that, so let's see, that does what? An entire piece while the apple only does a half? So it doubles the, the food output that we get. So it makes us oh my gosh every time I start recording my phone rings ah all right guys I'm back I swear every time I start recording I, I, like the phone won't ring all day and as soon as I want to record bang it'll it'll start ringing it is so dumb okay so we have this going so we can start cooking all this for some lee or for some strang and we only need I don't even remember uh, oh yeah for this is for the the uh, the seed or the sifter See even the sifter, I'm not sifter. So we can get all this. Should automatically swap. Yeah, okay, cool. Cuckoo. That's what's uh what's pretty cool about one of the mods. I'm not sure which mod it is. I'm just gonna start breaking all these because we really don't need any more. We got three silkworm already back as well. Uh is if you have multiple like blocks if you're building wood, it'll automatically swap to the next stack, or if you're like Mining will automatically swap to a pickaxe that is in your inventory, which is very helpful. Okay, so we got that down. Let's cut these trees. This is probably going to upgrade here. Yes, we are going to get our upgrade on our axe as well. Nice. Super sweet. And I believe I can juice carrots as well with the juicer. So hunger is no longer an issue for us with just the juicer because we have our nice carrot farm set up over there. Which is producing so many carrots. We okay, sweet. You're now accustomed to the weight of the axe and spare. Fix up the wear and tear to make it last a little longer. Okay, that is what I like to hear. <laughs> okay, so this axe probably we're gonna we're gonna dump here soon because it is not getting me anything useful. Okay, with that we can create some fishing nets. So it's just some sticks in the corners and then string everywhere else. So that will get me some fishing nets. Ooh, we can create a quest book. Um, let's see here. Now, let's see. Sift or what else is it? Fishing net. Okay, and then just wood. That is simple enough. So we need some more sticks. Some more wood. And then fishing net. Wood. I don't think I'm doing this right. No. I think it's just right here. Yeah, okay. Sifter. Sweet, sweet. Okay, so this sifter, I don't really... I need a bigger platform. You can place that. Okay, that's going to work. Um, So, we don't... Fishing nets, what we... It's actually pretty cool about these. We can come stick them in our pond here. And they will occasionally catch some fish for us. We can break that one. We're going to put it in the center. It's It doesn't really happen all that much, especially in this pond, probably. But occasionally we'll get some fish out of it. Okay, so... We can see if we are done with this quest. Not that one. Uh, come over to learning. Yep. One quest complete. Which bag are we want? Let's take that one. And we get 16 megabait, which we're just going to throw straight off the ledge. Because we have no use for them. Later. Okay. Let's open up this bag. Oh. We put the bag in the crafting uh, table to open it up. We got white willow saplings. Okay, but not great reward. I have not seen this yet. Let's see. Uh, we can let's let's plant one. Let's see what the what happens if uh, one will grow here shortly. Okay, and let's kind of uh, clean up my inventory a little bit. 
We want to kind of create a platform with some chests eventually as well, so we can clean up or uh, kind of mag or manage our inventory a little bit better. Um, clay. Let's see. Quarter heart. Let's get this going. If we just combine those. That'll give us a full heart, and we now have five lives. Yeah. We got our stone axe still in there. I probably don't need this anymore. So, I'm probably just getting rid of resources that I probably should hold on to, but for now, like, I don't know. I, I, I got what I need, and, and I got, and I need what I got. So, let's see. Coconut saplings we're gonna hold on to just in case. Malachi, pick a misfortune. We actually, we have a pick set up here, so we are going to get rid of these picks. Let's see. And we're going to create our own pick. And it's nighttime, so we're going to sleep. Just get rid of both those. And then if we come over here, let's grab our first workings of the tool station. Okay, or no, we need a um, part builder first. So, um, let's see here. We have some cobble. If we place cobble there, that there. Do we need... Oh, stone pick. Okay, cool. Stone pick exit. Can only be used to make cast. Cannot be used to make a tool. Okay, so actually... <laughs> we don't need this either. Can only be used to make cast. So, um... We actually have to fire that or something. I'm not entirely sure yet. What we need is our flint. <laughs> we're gonna make a flint pick. So let's just grab some flint. I don't know how many we're... I think we only need one. But still, regardless. Let's see. There we go. Flint pickaxe head. So... Now can we create like a flint binding? Or is that gonna be wood specific? Uh, okay, let's see here. Okay, here it tells me. Uh, valid materials, wooden, stone, cactus, bone, obsidian, netherrack. Let's see, what about this one? This can also use stone. So, we are shy of stone. Um, let's just put this dirt through the sifter. Oh my gosh, my phone's going off now, okay. Uh, let's see if we throw Okay, that isn't heating gravel. Okay, I'm dumb. We still have to we have to convert that to sand before we can finish that um, We're gonna cook the cobblestone and we are going to put this through the sifter because we have two pieces of stone here to give us one more cobblestone and that will give us hopefully a Perfect uh, pickaxe perfect. It's gonna be awesome. So if we can come back over to the part builder, place that in there, and the tool rod in there, that'll give us stone shard and a stone tool rod. Now let's just place that there for now. Come back here, grab a stone, come back to the part builder, place that there, that'll give us stone shard, another one of these. Um, I think if I combine four of those, that might give me a stone piece, or stone, uh, or back cobblestone maybe. Not entirely sure. Okay, now we can go to the tool station, grab this, if we place that there, that there, that there, we get our flint pickaxe, we're just gonna call it a flint pick. Um, st okay. Once again, <laughs> I failed to read. So, we actually will just be using sticks for these. What do you know? That there, and that there. Okay, so we can't use stone binding can only be used to make cast cannot be used to make a tool all right so i'm not sure what the cast is for yet we will find that out eventually i'll look that up after this episode let's see so we're just gonna go with the basic flint pickaxe flint pick bang okay so we at least have a flint pick with what is that um prime materials flint and it has a mining level of copper and we have some oh geez that is like the biggest tree i've seen yet the thing is huge oh my gosh all right so with that said we take this we're gonna place the gravel there and we're gonna turn it into sand and then now we can fry it up we're gonna fry the sand up like that okay so with that we can see what else we need okay so we have that quest complete fungus among us we have to just sift Ooh, creepy doll, that's kind of weird. A wooden sword or a raw fish, <laughs> we're gonna get out of that. We put 
uh, dust through to get glowstone dust, soul sand, and an ender pearl. So we are going to move on to smeltery, the smeltering, smelting, smelter, smeltery, seared tank. Okay, so let's just kind of see what we need for some of this stuff. Seared tank. Okay, so we need seared brick. Seared brick is going to be the main thing, so we need grout. Grout is clay, gravel, and sand for two, or we can do an entire block of clay, four sand, four gravel. So while that is finishing cooking, we're going to just start over here, and we just need to get as much gravel as we possibly can. So we're going to need a lot of it for the smeltery. Luckily, this uh, cobblestone, I mean, it's not the best design. We can uh, eventually change it to where we can get two blocks worth but it respawns quick enough uh to where it really wouldn't make that much of a difference if we change it or not or if we just keep it the way it is so for now we're just going to keep it the way it is okay so 16 blocks let's kind of look here seared tank requires eight blocks seared brick seared brick is one grout so four gravel four sand and one clay so that's a total of nine blocks will give me eight so nine gravel will give me eight eventually. So that's so we need one for that. Um, what else do we need? Uh, smeltery controller. Controller. Click on this. Uh, another eight. So we totally need it. So that's nineteen or eighteen blocks for that so far. Let's see. So uh, smeltery drain. Is another six so actually screw it we're just going to create a lot of grout and we'll figure it out later instead of trying to do the math right now ain't gonna work it ain't gonna work so let's try let's start with just creating the first two real quick and my other thing should be done as well grab that okay so let's see here let's throw some wood in here we need some sticks uh, let's see, what is the bakeware? How do I make the bakeware? We're gonna finish that quest. Bakeware, or not bakeware, it's the mixing bowl. I don't wanna make the bakeware. All right, mixing bowl is, okay, that's simple. Just a bowl with a stick. That's all it is. All right, mixing bowl complete, and we're gonna throw it in this chest for now. This chest is empty. Um, do I still have one part on the part builder? Yeah, okay. Put that in there. Come over here. Let's see. We have the mixing bowl. Let's grab the glass and do this for the bakeware. Put the bakeware in there. Now we can actually like start cooking some some delicious food. But that completes this quest as well. Back into Hill's kitchen. Open. Nice. Unclaim reward. So we're gonna get a reward bag for iron ingots. That'll be nice. Four iron ingots. We're gonna throw the ingots in here for now. Let's see what we got over word back. We got a book of fortune three. Okay, so that won't be useful for a while. We're gonna hang on to it though. Um, once we get a an anvil set up, we'll be able to uh, transfer the book onto one of our one of our stuff. So we have that quest complete. So let's continue with some gravel real quick. You know, actually, what I want to do is kind of set up. A platform so let's get some cobble for our um, smeltery so let's get plenty of gravel real quick and the question is where do we want to set this up at where do we want our smeltery to go and I can eventually like just start piecing this in so it's not just a bunch of chunks everywhere I really didn't mean to need to make this uh, cobblestone generator that far out we also still need to set up a mob farm as well. We got a lot of stuff to get done. Got a lot of stuff to do. All right, a bunch of this is dropping over there. Oh, oh no, got block, block. Okay. Oh, jeez, don't fall in the, the lake, the lake, the lava. All right, 18 blocks. This might have actually been better just to chop down the trees and use wood, but oh well. Uh, small tree. Whoops, I just broke that. It's not a big deal. We don't need that block either. 24, let's just get half a stack for now. We can use some wood to get to the smeltery platform, unless I just wanna, I can actually just kinda like place it maybe right in there. So, let's get a few more blocks. One more. Where's all these blocks going? Okay, there we go. 
Okay, so let's come back here real quick. Got 34 blocks. We're just gonna stick it right in this corner. So we have some wood in the chest. We're gonna grab as well. Convert all this. We don't need any of it. We have plenty of torches still. Come over here. Oh yeah, 49 blocks. This shall do. Okay, so I know I believe it is a three or a four by four platform for the smeltery. So we're just gonna kind of fill this all in. Like so. Let's see if we're got no, we're gonna be a few wood short, it looks like. One two wood to be exact. Okay, so that's not a big deal. Okay, so we have our platform set up. We're gonna put the smeltery right here, but we are going to deal with that next time. I'm going to end this episode here. If you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And I will see you guys next time.